over 20,000 families. Some have 10, 11, 12 in the family. There's often three generations living in a single room tenement house. And, and they're living on bread and dripping and tea and, and maybe a bit of bacon on Sunday, if they're lucky. No, there is a major problems in Dublin and they must be dealt with immediately. We need to unionize the workers. Well, the middle class workers are unionized in Dublin, but we must unionize the women. That is the big thing. We must unionize the women and get them to the level that the middle class are at. And then we'll really have something. Well, from what I read in the Times um, the other day, it seems to me that there are some um, rebel elements that are now walking about with guns in the street. I think there's a very troubling um, development uh, in Irish politics. Um, guns and arms are something that should be left in the purview of the army, you see, and definitely not something for civilians to be walking about in the daytime with. It's a very troubling uh, development indeed, uh, amongst the, especially amongst the Irish. Well, it's quite, quite troubling. There are armed bodies of volunteers all over the place, uh, patrolling through the streets, mock attacks, uh, all very, very distressing. The first steps to force the government to realise that a very large class have a grievance and won't stop making themselves disagreeable till it is righted. Oh yes, yes, Constance Markovitz. Yes, yes, from Sligo, I hear. A Gore Booth, actually. Uh, yes, not, not too impressed with her. Very rabble-rousing, uh, I see, from her. She's really, really um, unstabilising the situation here in Dublin, and I don't like it. I don't think it's good. Uh, I haven't heard very much about this Constance, Constance Markovitz uh, or such person. Um, I understand from the Times that she is um, a rising figure in Irish politics uh, in, in Dublin. Um, but she does have a foreign um, connection and I'm absolutely not in favour of any sort of foreign intervention into local uh, or British um, politics at all. Uh, it's not really on. Yes, yes, I have heard of Constance. Uh, I have never met her. I look forward to meeting her. And she seems to be, I think she could be quite useful to our cause. She sounds like a very powerful woman, and I, I really do look forward to that conversation. Madame Markovitz is a powerful person who is, it's an honor to stand shoulder to shoulder with her. She can bring the best out of every person and really help you to strive to be a better person and I think she recognizes uh, that power that the Irish people have inside of them and she brings it out. Take up your responsibilities and be prepared to go your own way, depending for safety on your own courage, your, your own truth and your own common sense and not on the problematic chivalry of the men you may meet on the way. I'm here in Dublin to help Madame's and James Connolly and Jim Larkin and all of these souls who have decided that Ireland has faced enough and I'm here predominantly for simple reasons that is self-determination for the Irish people, equal rights for all people, all classes, those simple reasons that's what brought me here.